Here's how to photograph a concert when the lighting f sucks. I went to a show here in my hometown of Toledo, Ohio at the venue called the Ottawa Tavern. I love going to this place. I met a ton of friends through our local music scene there. Good man, how are you? What up, dude? What up? What up? What up? What up? It's very tasty. It's always a blast going there. But when it comes to taking photos at this place, the lighting there is just not the greatest. So how do we solve this issue? How can you guarantee that you're gonna take good photos at a show when you don't even know how the lighting is gonna be? Well, let's dive into it. So when I first walked into the venue, the lighting was super red as the bands were setting up and immediately I got, um, I got the cringe because photographing a show with red lighting is the worst. All right, so yeah, as you can see here, we have a lot of red lighting that we're working with. Um, the band is getting all set up over there and we got we got some Christmas lights that we're working with over there uh, a little bit of backlight over there that's pretty cool but uh, this red light is just killing me this is not gonna work very well the reason why red lighting is so bad is because when that red light hits our skin it's gonna wash out any sort of detail because our skin tones are a pigment of red already it's gonna wash out all that detail when you're photographing this is why when the lights turn blue or green or any other color it looks a million times better. I photographed quite a few artists that night and I tried a bunch of different shooting methods so that way you can see the difference and implement whatever strategy you wanna use in the future. So for the first strategy, I used a 35 millimeter Sigma Art lens. Uh, it goes down to a 1.4 aperture. And what that means is it's a really fast lens. Essentially, that's going to open up all of the light to go through your lens and it gets really, really sharp and blurs the rest of the background. Here's a couple shots I took with this lens. Now, the second shooting method, I used an on-camera flash. Typically, I'm not a big camera flash person, but let me tell you, this comes in handy when all else fails. You can guarantee that you're gonna get good shots with this. So you can swivel this thing all around, and the point of that is that way the light will bounce off the wall or the ceiling and reflect onto the artist. A lot of wedding photographers will use these things to guarantee good shots at the reception when all the lighting is gone from the day. Same principle can be applied for shows. When all the lighting is gone and there's nothing you can do, whip this bad boy out and I guarantee you'll get something good. Here are the photos I took with the on-camera flash. Now the third shooting method that I worked with was long exposure or shutter drag and essentially what this means is you drag your shutter speed and you bring it down past 1 over 125 even down to 1 over 5 1 over 3 whatever you want to do it's very experimental your on-camera flash is how you're going to use this strategy you're going to get a ghosting effect on your artist because the flash is going to freeze them into your frame but the motion will still be there through the shutter drag and here are a couple shots that i took with that method now as the night went on, the last band that played ended up bringing their own lighting rig. Now when this happens, you have to change it up a little bit and shoot according to whatever their setup is. And when the band brought their own lighting, it helped out a lot. Here are the results, and I'll put the camera settings in there as well. So you can see that lighting truly does make a huge difference when it comes to shooting concerts. Use these principles when you're out shooting shows in your local music scene, and you'll get good results every time. Typically, these strategies are the best for smaller venues that don't have the best lighting rig. You can also use these methods at bigger shows, but typically, the lighting setup does the work for you. Here's some photos I took at bigger shows, still following these methods. I hope all of this has helped you and uh, answered any questions that you might have had for shooting concerts. And I'll be putting more stuff out. So if you wanna learn how to take better photos at a concert, make sure you hit that subscribe button, follow, drop a comment so that way I can answer any questions and hit that bell so that way you can get notified whenever I put out a new video. Well, that's all I got for this one. So uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.